hi, I am Kate Hackett. I am the writer, producer, star of Classic Alice. I play Alice Rackham. Alice is like me. She is a very, very studious, driven, academically oriented person. That's a great thing, but it can also be kind of a, a personal flaw because if you are so good at one thing, it means that you aren't really experimenting, you aren't failing, you aren't learning how to be a complete person, and I think that this series will help her learn that lesson. Andrew is Alice's friend. He's kind of an unlikely buddy, whereas Alice is very academic and driven and hardworking. He is smart, but he is smart in a different way. She is more school driven and he is very personable. They kind of provide each other a little bit of a balance. He's the kind of guy that I would that I would like. You know, like that's how that's kind of how Wait, I say that again? He's the kind of guy that I would have a little crush on. <laughs> Kara kind of came in a cool way. Like I, I wrote she had some throwaway lines. Uh she was there to serve a quick purpose and keep the plot rolling. As I played around with her, I kind of discovered I wanted her to be really into music and really into math. And my younger brother is a math major, so I steal all of his Facebook updates and use them as Kara's tweets. But no, she, she became this, this like groovy counter to Alice, who loves her roommate, but is also like, she's a ridiculous human being. I hope that the characters, as we move forward, are put into more difficult situations. I think when you're writing hard choices are very interesting. Seeing how people deal with those hard choices is very interesting. So I would want them to have crisis of conscience, crisis of, of you know who they are and I would like them to just work deeper. Um, and that doesn't mean it can't be funny, it doesn't mean it can't be, you know, like if we do if we do a satire, if we do a Twain book, that's gonna be funny. They're just I want them to learn life lessons, like learn who they are at the end of the day. And they can make wrong choices and that's okay and they can learn from them or they can not learn from them, that's okay too. <laughs> this is Lothar. Lothar is one of my actors from Kate and Joe Just Wanna Have Sex. He performed as a distraction during the phone sex episode and so now he's kind of a ham. Finding the angle of the story is actually a little bit difficult. You have to not only kind of adopt it to modern life but you also have to make sure that it fits within this college world. So I originally wrote Classic Alice to be a mockumentary, which would, you know, follow everybody handheld. It was fun, It was, but it was too big. When I was writing it, I was writing it for another production company, and they said, let's make it a vlog so that we don't have to do all of that. And it also branches into, like, this YouTube stuff. Like, people love vlogs. So I said, okay, so I went back and I retooled it. So I gave them their first episode and they were like, we love it. And that whole situation kind of fell through so I wound up producing it on my own and I had to kind of decide, am I gonna do a mockumentary the way I originally wanted to do it or am I gonna do a vlog? My actual writing process was the week of Thanksgiving, I put on some music and just banged it out in two days. So I wrote like 33 pages and just traced all of the arcs and made sure everything made sense. Getting young adults, teenagers, kids, uh, even you know young college students or beyond, getting that group to read and love reading. Not just Twilight or not just Fifty Shades of Grey and not just these books that are not enriching your life. You want to read things that question human nature. You want to read things that expose some universal truth. You want to read art. You want to really ask yourself deep questions and I think that giving people kind of a, a spot glimpse of that in an accessible way in a quick five minute format, you know, might get some people to go, oh I really want to read that book. What are they going to do next? And I think that's really important. You have to have a passion. Reading has always been one of, obviously, reading has obviously always been one of my loves and uh, and I want to share that and I want to encourage people to jump in.